you guys tonight was all about new and um, prints like they took like 45 minutes talking arguing and trying to you know settle or claiming right or i don't know if i should say claiming right you understand but generally tonight was all about prince and new trying to settle the backbiting the gossip and all that hey guys welcome back again to my channel my name is vicky if you're seeing me for the very first time hi please consider consider to hit on that red subscribe button subscribing to the channel and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that youtube will inform you whenever i post a new video oh you guys so the night started with the fight in the house between lucy and nengi you know lucy and nengi has had an altercation in the house and they were talking about you know the 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 the, the word where lucy say that also should go and touch nengi that it's nengi that liked me being touched by men and all that and then when they came back ebuka was asking um, lucy what's up about that statement do you feel like nengi was nengi is a flat per se or nengi like being touched by men or why did you make that statement and lucy was like she made that statement to actually get on um, nengi's nerves you understand because nengi was calling her old hag and, and and something like that you understand and to me i felt like that's not true because Lu lucy already had an impression about um nengi she felt like nengi was just all over the guys she was always with the guys she has talked about it with dorothy you understand she, Pepe Bodito already did do and wear the big day you understand because almost but nengi seemed to be like a lot of intimidation for all of them and with the way she's getting the whole attention even in this reunion you see that nengi keeps entering conversation that happens between guys dragging a babe now nengi then the drag you understand so nengi already like made them stand on their toes feeling like omo oh, it just seems, seems like everybody's eyes is on this particular girl and it made them feel a little bit uncomfortable but in defense of herself she was not like no she did not feel as if nengi was doing that on purpose she maybe now she knew that that's how nengi is like she says she likes playing with the guys you understand so you know that's just the conversation you know this reunion thing eh? omo oh, if you want to follow what really happened in that house you will not be friends with anybody because at the end of the day everybody gossiped about everybody one way or the other if you say you no know, be gossip omo there's nothing for you to talk about now because you have people there and those are the people that you stay sleep wake up with you one way or the other talk about them at some point or the other you understand and then they moved over to um neo and um praise praise neo was like and um, mebuka was saying that okay neo said you were his friend or you and neo were friends so why did you put him up for possible eviction when they were nominating you understand and even though neo, um, praise said that it, he, he was really pained about what um neo did but he let it go you get but praise in the um, neo in defense of himself was like he felt like okay four people were up watoni trickety praise and then v and you know that of course he one of his votes is going for v so now he's about to choose based on preference and um praise assumed that they were guys you're my g you be my brother you might this so he did not expect new to actually put him up put him up for eviction but new was like okay i felt like Tricky T has been has always been up for eviction. It feels like he doesn't have more fans. And for me, that is inside the house. I'm judging with the fact that a lot of people like you in here, and he's feeling like because me, I like you, and I feel like you be bubbling guy. So a lot of people will like you out there. So therefore, we not feel like say you go like you will be evicted. You understand? He was not expecting it because why Ebuka brought up this conversation was because when the evicted praise news reaction new shouted and was you know the, that reaction and for you to see that ah you put me up for eviction now they don't uh, evict me which one be this drama where you can't they act you understand so at the end of the day they just felt like okay he came to a conclusion that he felt like he disappointed praise like is a is a is a is a scream of like disappointment or frustration like ah if i had known or regrets per se you understand if i had known i wouldn't have put him up, put him up for eviction because according to him he felt that he will be saved because a lot of people m might like him outside the house and then we moved on to the show of tonight guys it was about print and the same new new really don't enter problem for this them say you do this like snitching like 
Neo has got into a lot of issues with him being a snitch kind of, you understand? Because now, Neo and Prince were really close in the house. They were brotherly, they were my G, my guy, blah, 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 and all that. But Prince said, coming out of the house, he heard Neo saying a lot of things about him behind his back, a lot of terrible things that the one that really stuck was, was the one that um, Neo told Big Brother that he felt like when Big Brother asked, who does he think is fake or is acting fake or... Who does he feel his story is fake? And he said Prince. That's because Prince cried while narrating his story. You understand? That that one really pained him. That he felt he was lying about his dad. And Prince was like, why would I be lying about my dad? His dad is a prominent person. And there are millions of people watching. And people who know him and his family, his dad is even watching. Why should he be lying about that? You understand? That that thing really pained him. He felt as if... Neo calls him brother in front, Neo calls him a friend, but goes right behind his back to snitch up on him. Um, all this, the, the gist on the go back, forth, back, for Ebuka was not even helping matters because Ebuka was like, So, Neo, did you apologize? Or this Neo was like, At the end, because at the end of, as in the finale, you understand, maybe when they gave Lekon his um, reward or his whatever they call it, his. Um, yeah, reward or something like that. I don't know if that's the right word. Anyway, anyway, when they gave it, it said at the finale, you understand, when they got to their hotel room, um, Prince said he announced to everybody that anybody that spoke anything about him behind his back, that he has heard everything, he has seen everything, that the person should keep the same energy. But he did not mention anybody's name. But obviously, I think he was talking to you. And then much later during that day or during um, Brito's birthday, he met... Um, Prince on the hallway of the hotel room that they were and he just shook hands with him and was like telling him that guy are they very sorry um, no that those are not his voice said guy I beg any to be happen for house make it day for house will be G you understand make you carry me along with still that kind of a thing and then and um, Prince according to him responded with okay we we'll go talk you understand that kind of thing but in his heart in the exam like in the exam so and uh, was like I kept trying to even Prince concord that he kept trying to reach out to him, you understand, but him, he was done with the relationship, you understand, Neil was like, he called, he was not picking his call, even though Prince was denying the fact that he did not see Neil's call, Neil was like, he called twice, and Ebuka was like, did you send a text, you have his number, if you wanted to apologize, you should have sent a text, Ebuka did ask other people that, did they feel that if Neil should have apologized for such statements, you understand, Neil, um, he asked V, V was like, um, Prince had a right of feeling the way he's feeling because he would not see somebody who whom she calls a friend or a sister doing that or saying such about her. He, she wouldn't like it, you understand? And Neo should apologize or would have apologized to Prince and Prince had the right to be angry. They also asked us all this because these people are very close to Neo, you understand? Also, was like, this is the first time I'm hearing this, you understand? But one thing he knows about Neo is that Neo might not outrightly come to tell you, ah, G, I'm sorry, but he will say, he will say something like, ah, guy, make you forget about waiting, don't happen, blah, 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 and all that. But I feel like everybody was saying that he should, he should have specified that, guy, that thing I spoke about to your dad or your family, I'm sorry about it, you understand? Even though, yeah, Neo later did apologize, and praise was, praise was like, that he did, doesn't feel like that apology on the hallway of the hotel room was for that thing he said. Maybe he was just giving a general apology, like, we don't leave house, make with him, because that's what Neo did to him when he was evicted on that final day, you understand? He hugged him and told him, guy, everything will happen for house, I better make a hand for house, we still be G, you understand? So according to Prince, he let it go. So he felt like that's what he did with Prince, even though he might not have remembered that, okay, I said this about his dad, so I should apologize specifically for this, you understand? And then, Neil was like, I knew it, I understood, I know that I was supposed, I know what I was uh, apologizing for. Well, I don't know because you know, sometimes when you talk something and I don't know, say person don't come out, you go soon cast. You, stop, you I feel sometimes you might know what you're apologizing for. But anyway, guys, Prince has totally exed Neil, you understand, even though Neil said sorry and Ebuka was asking him, So where are you guys now? Prince was like, He's not friends with Neil. He doesn't know him and um, Neo was like no problem you understand so I just felt like Prince is giving out this attitude he's giving out an attitude I can't define 
how the attitude is you understand you don't necessarily have to be friends with someone but sometimes you could just accept apology because this thing sometimes we could just talk with him we really know mean and people just hold on to it and be like you're talking up behind my back you're my thought you were my friend sometimes people just say things they really don't mean this is not me giving excuse for new but i feel like sometimes you should shake it off because almost at the end of the day let love lead let's try to forgive and let's go there's no need to the whole grudge say ah this is you don't have to be like this of this type of a friend very tight but you can ask, at least be cordial i'm not saying you're not friends you don't know him ah come on it's not necessary anyway guys towards the end it was time for Ibuka to talk about the last thing that happened which was about t badge v and uh, watoni you know that small drama that um <laughs> that v was telling watoni that she's acting like mad it's somebody that is mad what she's doing is what mad people do you understand Ibuka was like what is it that mad people do so i feel like that's their case in fact there's nothing much to say about that is a clear case of misunderstanding between the three of them even though at the end of the day they were dragging it felt as if um prince was at the middle of it because watoni liked prince and now prince was with t-badge and t-badge you know, they like making sis say in friend they near a man who lie lie she does not even want in fact she goes scatter friendship because of man now so t-badge day you understand so the, both of them were like, no, it's not about either. But every other person felt like, ah, they feel like that was the case. You understand? So that's just basically about this night. But another thing I want to say is, I don't understand why T Bad, I'm uh, sorry, why Watoni that was singing Budo 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 is now denying the fact that he she never wanted to be Budo, that she just wanted, she uses the phrase, a go to person in this reunion. But then you take your time, oh, that lie, they lie, no be small children, they watch you, we saw all what you did, we knew what you wanted, you wanted somebody to be booed up with you, with you, you know that kind of a thing, now what thing you be want, leave this, um, I wanted a go-to person, leave that, you know, unless you were telling me that you wanted a friend with benefit kind of person, you understand, so basically that's just it, guys, so this is me just coming to give you people this thing sharp sharp because like, like this like this and i don't tire i need to go sleep thank you so much for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section and please 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 subscribe if you've watched me up to this point and you've not subscribed that's no be juju be that now juju be that now come on subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell i'll most definitely see you in my next one